I've always kind of uh, been a singer and performer since I was young, um, going in talent shows, and then when I was about 11 or 12, my uncle bought me a guitar, and uh, that's when I really started uh, getting more musically, like working on music more, and uh, started learning guitar, and yeah. I've been playing piano for a long time, probably since I was like six years old. I did a program called Music for Young Children, and then I went in and started doing like the Royal Conservatory piano. And that is what I've been doing since then, and probably in like grade 10, I, grade 9, I stopped taking lessons and just played for fun, because I was getting annoyed with the classical music, but it was still pretty cool. Just like children. No, that I you hate, always hate that <laughs> voice. I hate that voice. We could dream this night away. She's so annoying. This is Neil Young, like coming through me. She's an amazing pianist, and um, we like to write music together. Uh, our it works pretty well. I write the lyrics, and she helps with lyrics, and then uh, she writes some really cool music for it, and. Yeah. It's better than one. This is like our friendship. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. T Swift for life. The rest of my life, and you already got me. I don't really remember like meeting her. I remember like we hung out pretty quickly after like our, we we're in the same ensemble, which is a class we have, which is kind of like a band class. And she's just like really a fun kind of girl and like we get along well and we like musically I think we get along really well and like we write a lot of music together and I think hopefully we'll do that more and more like as time goes on and really like get to know each other and like get to know each other musically as well I think. But she's a good, a good pal for sure. Glad that you got that. D E. Yeah. Except you're playing them all natural and like... They're all memory. natural. Don't worry about it. Um, I find I write a lot of music when I come home from like watching uh, like local bands or like going out to a bar and seeing a band play. I usually feel inspired right after that or um, just everyday stuff kind of. You can draw inspiration from it and write some cool music. I also think a lot of the greatest, most beautiful music is com coming from a really sad, dark place. So, like, you can, like, take that for, I don't, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but when, I don't know, I had, like, no, that's what I, yeah.